Hey guys, what's going on? So it's been a while since I've done a flashlight review. The last one I did might have also been a Lumitop. It was probably the ODF-30C. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, so this is the Lumitop GT Micro. This is the smaller 14500 version of the larger GT Mini, which takes an 18650. And of course, that is the smaller version of the gigantic BLF Giga Thrower, which is a humongous flashlight. I try to stay up to date on Lumitop as much as I possibly can. Um, I look at flashlight stuff constantly, but I don't get on candle power forms or budget light forms all that much. So I don't really stay up to date on these particular models. I know that the GT series is a pretty big deal amongst the flashlight community because the GT Micro and GT Mini uh, are basically smaller clones of the gigantic one that is very popular. So depending on how well this flashlight sells, which I imagine is going to do pretty well, uh, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if Lumitop went even crazier and did something even smaller like the GT Mega Micro or GT Ultra Micro. And uh, there is one more battery that you could use, uh, which is of course a 10440. So don't be surprised if you don't see a fourth version. Uh, who knows what it's going to be called, GT Mega Micro, whatever. Uh, but it could possibly, uh, could possibly happen. I could actually see that in the future based on the fact they've already come out with two smaller versions of the large one. So there are two versions of this light, basically two uh, color temperatures. You can choose from neutral tint and you can choose from cool white. I obviously chose for cool white. I'm not a big fan of neutral tint flashlights, depending on the light, I guess. Um, but your neutral tint light's going to run probably around 4,000 Kelvin, whereas this one's around 5,000 to 5,500. All right, so before I open this thing up and show you all what's inside, I will say that I deeply regret not taking back my GT Mini. As you all know, a few months ago, I purchased the GT Mini, and after about four or five days, maybe a week, uh, it completely failed on me. It just stopped working. And unfortunately, at that particular time when it happened, I didn't realize they were going to come out with a smaller version. So now that that's happened, I can't compare it to my GT Mini since it's completely broken. Uh, but like I said, at that time, I had no idea they were going to come out with a smaller version. All right, so let's go to open this thing up and show you all what's inside. Of course, the box looks identical because the light looks identical. GT Micro box is basically the exact same, just smaller. Open it up. And of course, with a light like this, this thing puts out a thousand lumens. So you want to use high quality 14500s. Don't use any Trust Fire 14500s. Try to use EFest, AW, Sony, Sanyo. Uh, basically, good batteries because you don't want to go putting a, uh, a cheap 14500 in a thousand lumen flashlight. And especially a light like this, there's not a whole lot of 14500 lights that exceed a thousand lumens, let alone even reach a thousand lumens. Okay, so inside the package you have your instruction manual. Uh, by the way, the user interface is the exact same uh, as it is on the GT Mini. So just so you know that, I really don't have to go through uh, the user interface since it's pretty much the exact same. All right, so inside the light, of course, or inside the box, you do, of course, have the lanyard. If I can ever get it out of there. So this is what the lanyard looks like. Then you have the flashlight itself, which, by the way, there was a protected piece of plastic over the glass of the flashlight itself. But I took it off uh, because I already basically played with this thing. I'm just putting it back in the package for your viewing pleasure. Underneath here, you have your spare O-rings. And of course, your lanyard attachment right there. It's basically all that comes with it. Put this stuff aside. And then, of course, here is the light itself. This thing is incredibly small. Okay, so for size comparison, here's a, I almost said 18650, a uh, 14500. There's the Nightcore Tiny. And then here is the Nightcore TUP. Oh yeah, I dropped it. I forgot about that. And then here is the Lumentop Duke. Now, like I said, I wouldn't be a bit surprised in the future if Lumentop doesn't make a GT Mega Micro or something like that. That's pretty similar to the Duke in size or length with the head being bigger. All right, so this gives you an idea just how small this light actually is. There's a Manker E14-2 on the bottom. I do have the extender taken off, so it just has an 18350. And of course, the IMR18650 that came with the E14-2, um, just above that. And then of course, a regular 18650 above the GT Micro. So very small light. And of course, the best emitter you can put for its size, the XPLHI, high intensity. Very efficient, very powerful, very small footprint, 3.45 by 3.45 millimeters, which is basically 1.55 millimeters smaller than the XML2. All right, so I'm gonna take the tail off so you guys can see that. Oh yeah, I smashed my finger in the door, by the way. Take the tail off, gold-plated contact points, of course. I really like the fact that a lot of these lights nowadays are using the double springs. I imagine that's to help out with the resistance. Put this down there. 
So I'm not really entirely sure what happened to my GT Mini. It just failed. In fact, I think it was the switch, to be honest. I doubt it was the driver. But down in here, you can see the positive contact plate and where the driver is. I like the fact that the driver was actually designed on budget light forms, if I'm not mistaken. It's the uh, Texas Avenger MOSFET driver. So I'm pretty sure you want to know the dimensions of this light. And this light's 105 millimeters long and I believe 36 millimeters in width on the head. It's a very large head for a 14500 light. So the numbers, of course, are the most impressive thing, as you guys know. A thousand lumens on a 14500. The intensity is 50,000 CD, which, of course, definitely puts this thing in first place for the furthest throwing 14500 light that there is. So this light has one of the most advanced user interfaces I've ever seen. It's just like the GT Mini. It's got so many modes, it's absolutely insane. Uh, you can actually reprogram this light to how you want it to be, but I'm not going to go over that because that's going to be an incredibly long video if I do. So I'm basically just going to go over the default modes. Turning on, basically just press it one time. All this stuff is controlled by a single electronic switch. Press it one time and hold it, and you'll be able to ramp up and down to choose your output that you like. And it will blink when it reaches the very top. And just keep tapping it, and it will ramp up and down. Press it one time to turn it off. So to access your turbo mode is obviously double press. Just press the button twice real fast, and it will go into your insane 50,000 CD at 1,000 lumens. So my favorite feature about this light, in fact, I usually always had it on on my Mini until it blew up, uh, is the momentary activation. Just press the button five times real fast. One, two, three, four, five. And then it blinks, letting you know that you are in momentary activation. And now you have your momentary, which is the coolest feature in my opinion. Basically press it one time, and that electronic switch becomes a momentary. Unloosen it, and then tighten it, and then there. Now it's back into the factory. Press it one time, hold it, goes into your modes, your ramping modes. And this thing goes way down to probably about half a lumen, maybe a lumen. So of course another cool feature is to check your battery status. Just press the button three times real fast. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the battery's at 3.9 volts. This battery was at 4.1 just yesterday. <laughs> this thing kills the battery fast. So I will take the head off so you guys can see the contact board. This thing is well greased as you guys can see. So hopefully I've covered as much as I possibly can. That is just a quick review of the Lumitop GT Micro, and I'll have some beam shots for you guys in the description. So thanks for watching.